Jaden Troy Whitaker for NRL .com, mate. Um, congratulations on the new deal. I imagine you're pretty stoked with that. Yeah, uh, yeah, very excited. Um, it was something that coming into the season, I wasn't sure was going to happen, but I think my my hard work has, has paid off, and I was rewarded with a with the two years. So yeah, very happy. When did you start the negotiation process? And um, yeah, you said at the start of the season you didn't know if it was going to happen. Um, just how's that process been through the year and the journey of, of getting that new deal? Yeah, so I sort of just I just gave the responsibility to my manager. I think that's sort of that's his job. He sort of told me if I um, if I come into training and just train train as hard as I can, it'll sort of look after itself. I um, I made it I made it a goal that I just wanted to do everything possible to get back as quick as possible. And um, I guess the club sort of saw my work ethic, and I'd like to think that's part of the reason why they wanted to keep me around. Just a hard worker, and, and yeah. Were you getting, I guess, nervous might not be the right word, but were you a little bit uh, just seeing all the, the new signings the club was getting for next year and obviously you weren't able to play until last week? Did Were you a little bit apprehensive about whether you'd get signed at that point? Um, no, nah, not really. I sort of sort of backed myself, I think. Um, I, I know in myself that if if I'm fit and healthy and playing my best footy, I can I can uh, mix it with those type of players. They're, they're obviously guns, like we've got origin players coming, future origin players, but I think um, I, I, I sort of see myself as a first grader and I was, yeah, I was confident that something was going to come. I just, I honestly didn't think it'd come this soon, but yeah, I, I had a feeling it was going to come eventually. Jaden, obviously you've, you've had a difficult few years with your ACL and obviously with suspension. Is it sort of nice that the club has, you know, been able to sort of see through that and see that work ethic around those sort of things, as you sort of said? Yeah, definitely. I think um, so last year Baz, Baz called me and said that he wanted me at the club and um, yeah, and he's, he's put a lot of trust in me. I think um, I've got a lot, I've got to repay the club a fair bit. I think I feel um they they took a big chance to let me come back and um, I just didn't want to let them down and yeah for them to give me another two years is massive for me um, it's it's yeah it's where I, it's where I've always wanted to be I grew up in the area and this is the only team I've ever really wanted to play for so to be able to um, to have the for them to have the confidence in me really means a lot. Did Baz ever sort of sit you down and 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 tell you why I guess they they've really given you that show of faith at the moment. Um, oh, a little bit. He sort of just said that he he liked seeing he liked seeing how hard I worked during the preseason. He knew he knew that I was going through a bit of a tough time, like with the injury, just coming in every day, um, knowing that I was so far away from playing. He sort of he saw that I stayed optimistic, and um, and I guess may, I think well, I'd like to think that that's something he he wanted in the club, like a type of person that's not just going to come and kick stone. So I feel like that's part of the reason. Yeah. Really hot backline next year, mate. Um, who are you most excited to play alongside, and where do you see yourself fitting into that? Um, oh man, all of them are—they're all pretty, um, pretty gun. I think um, obviously the fox—he's probably the highest caliber. He's, he's killing. He he kills it at Origin level. So, and as another winger, he's someone that I'd love to learn something off. Probably, probably not going to get as fast as him. But um, if I can just learn learn some tricks off him. But even even yeah. Dufty and Naden. Naden's a gun. He's he's um. He's like he's been <laughs> he's been playing cut, but I feel like he's definitely an NRL standard um, player. And we've got Nick Kotrick as well. He's played Origin and for his country. So I don't know. I sort of see myself hopefully getting a wing spot. But um, yeah, it's just going to be a big battle in the preseason, which I'm really excited for. And the Sharks this weekend, mate. The team's put in two good performances in a row. Are you confident that you can get out there and roll them? Yeah, definitely. Um, we've sort of. We've sort of come up here, not just coming up here to make up the number. We, we want to um, start winning some games, have a really good end back end to the season. So we sort of looked at this game on the calendar and there's a few games um, coming up that we really think we're a good chance of winning. And this is definitely one of them. And I feel like if we put the same performance that we did the past two weeks, we should, we should come away with a win. And off the field, Gus Gould has, has signed on. Um, what was the playing squad's reaction to that? And uh, what are you most looking forward to, to working on with Gus? Yeah, everyone's really excited. Um, he's obviously still down in Sydney. We had a little Zoom call with him last night. We sort of just introduced himself. Um, yeah, it's just he's everyone. Everyone knows he's one of the smartest people in rugby league. So obviously, very excited to have him around. Um, 
he's going to help Baz. He's going to help everyone one-on-one, -on -one, whether it's on the field or off the field. So everyone's super excited and, yeah, just can't wait for him to get involved.